The 8020 construction system is an offering of over 6,500 parts and aluminum extrusions that allows you to build just about anything. Our customers have built everything from machine guarding, workstations, material handling equipment, fluid power machines, robotics, automation equipment, solar panels, and even large greenhouses. The possibilities that you have available with 8020 are truly limitless. The key to the 8020 construction system is the T-slotted aluminum extrusion. The T-slot allows many different kinds of fastening methods to affix varying shapes and sizes of extruded aluminum bars together. And with the flexibility of the T-slot, you can configure them to your custom needs in a way that is strong, durable, yet fully adjustable. Working with 8020 is not inherently dangerous, however, common sense goes a long way when working and designing with our products in order to have a successful project. If you need design assistance, please feel free to call our technical services group of 8020 experts at any time. First of all, there are certain measures you can take to protect yourself when working with our products. Number one, wear the right gear. We want you to be dressed appropriately for this type of work. A shirt and long pants. Safety glasses are a must. Make sure you protect your eyes. Closed-toed shoes are a must, and steel toes are preferred. Wear safety gloves when cutting and using a knife. Protect your hands. Now some general housekeeping tips. First of all, keep your workspace clean to avoid tripping or slipping. Make sure the floor is clear of anything that you don't need. Use only tools that are in good condition. If you have broken tools, you could get hurt easily. Give yourself plenty of clearance from walls and ceilings to work on your project. Mark your work area with caution tape when you're working in a high traffic area. You don't want people walking through if you're swinging things around. Ensure your footing when working with the step ladder. Make sure that's solid and it won't tip over. Some precautions now that are specific to 8020. Be very aware of sharp edges. We do deburr every bar, but they can still have sharp edges on the insides of the bar where the wheel doesn't touch the outer edge. And if you cut your own bars, we suggest you take the time to run a sandpaper sponge or a grinding wheel over your cut edges. Get rid of those burrs. Make sure that you're using the correct size tool and that the hex head is fully engaged. If you use a hex head that's too small, you can round it off or break it or worse. Make sure that once you have the right size hex head that it's fully engaged. If not, it could simply slip and cause injury. Please don't over torque fasteners and bolts. The heads may snap if they're over torqued. I've seen guys in shops use modified tools and uh, they'll try and, and over torque these. We really don't want you to do that. Once the two degree drop lock is activated, this fastener is tight and it will not come apart. Another thing to remember, never hesitate to ask for an extra set of hands when you're working with heavy parts or you have to hold things at an awkward angle. And finally, of course, don't work over your head. Even with a hard hat, some of these pieces are heavy, they're gonna fall and cause injury. Safety first, don't get hurt. Let's talk for a couple minutes about a better way, a more efficient way to work with 8020. You want to work with sub-assemblies whenever possible. Think of your project as the sum of other parts. It may take time to develop your eye for these sub-assemblies, but almost every project has two to three smaller assemblies that can be put together before the project as a whole goes together. It will definitely make your project more manageable. Choose the right profile. Make sure that you use a profile that suits your project's weight requirements. 8020 has software you can utilize to help you decide which profile size is the best for your project based on the deflection you can expect from different spans and weight distributions on those spans. We have smaller series extrusions as well as the standard version, a light version, an ultralight version. In most cases, 8020 also has a closed sided and smooth profile options as well as a variety of finishing options to choose from. Column load your bars for more strength. A bar supported by sitting atop another bar is a more solid connection purely because of force and gravity. This concept also keeps sharp edges of the extrusions from being exposed. Use end caps and T-slot cover to put a finishing touch on your project. 
Not only do these accessories add a finished look to your project, they can also protect users from injury by covering the sharp ends of bars and prevent catching. Prevent rotation with additional fastening methods. Designers may want to be aware of rotation points of their projects. At these points, it may be wise to use a larger bracket such as a four-hole bracket or a second fastening method. Anytime you have torsional loads on your bar, you may want to think about a second fastening method. The pilot projection neck on the T-nut faces down towards the center of the T-slot. Proper installation of the T-nuts can prevent injury and longevity of the fastener. Remember to account for space for your tool to operate. In other words, think about the ease of assembly when you're designing. Don't design two anchor fasteners too close together. You won't be able to get the wrench in there to tighten those up. Remember to account for the T-slot depth, tool clearance, and fastener clearance when designing panels. Size and notch them accordingly. Preloading hardware and T-nuts can save time and prevent you from having to backtrack. It is also a wise idea to keep a stockpile of drop-in T-nuts on hand in case you need to add to your project later. Use panel gasket in conjunction with panels set in the T-slot to keep panels from rattling and adding security to the panel. If you have any questions, please contact us at 8020 at 260-248 8030.